Hello and welcome to this demonstration of Modular RPG Combat. In this demonstration I will show you how to implement this asset into any project that you might have or is starting on. In this case I'm starting from a blank canvas just as an example but you could just as well have an existing scene that you want to implement this on. So the uh, first thing that I will do is um, show you a bit of the asset. The asset comes with um, quite a few scripts and uh, extra additions that you can use. Um, each of them can be found under the scripts location and can be customized and used however you want. Um, they're written in C and should be easily to um, to customize to your own liking. Uh, the uh, the models in this assets are using uh, the mechanism system, so it's all Unity 4 compatible, and um, it comes with a demo scene that you can also try out if you want. That demo scene is also playable on the uh, on our asset page. So the um, the first thing to do in this case is to um, create a terrain object that the enemies and player will walk on um, and of course some lightning. Now the thing you need to do is um, you need to create a nav mesh for this. It's using Unity's built-in nav mesh technology to do this, um, and the enemies use it to move around in the scene. So first, click on your window icon and then your navigation to come there, and then simply press bake. This will take a while, which is why I always start with this. Now the prefabs that you always want to use are the game controller one and that one is used to uh, animate the player and the enemies so they can walk around, attack each other and so forth. I'll also add the demo GUI here in order to um, allow you to see some statistics to the right of the screen. Uh, this shows things like player health, player level, player experience and you should of course link the player stats to your own system. Uh, you probably have a help bar or something similar that you can use and it's recommended of course to use that instead of this demo GUI. Uh, the main camera I will add a script to and uh, the scripts it's a simple script to follow the player. You probably have your own script again, but in order for this to, to show you a bit of testing, I'm implementing this. So, player. Um, now, we'll add the player itself to the scene. It's over here actually. You can see him. And um, now that we press play, yeah, have a player that can run around and attack. And he can shoot. So, all of this is customized. Uh, you can customize this uh, by going into the prefab in this case. Um, there are a few scripts to control it, uh, two scripts for the combat, and then there's one additional one that's being included for testing purposes, and that's the keyboard, uh, keyboard control script. Um, but for the, um, for the player and the combat related things, it's two scripts then. The first one is player combat controller, which controls the range of the, uh, the sword and the gun. And uh, you can, of course, pick whichever models and materials you want for, for this. 
The uh, second script that's included is the player stealth controller and that controls things such as um, player health, current health, max health, his experience points, experience points until the next level and his current level. Now the, um, the final step is to add some enemies and add some here. The, uh, the enemies in turn have three scripts attached to them. The, um, the first one is the enemy combat controller, um, which uh, sets the, um, the information if the enemy is uh, aggressive or not, the speed he can uh, chase, the, um, the range again. As well as uh, his field of view angle, so it controls how, if he is aggressive, at what angles can he see the the player. It also sets the uh, radius for for him to turn into aggressive, and um, it also you can also dictate how far he should follow the player if the player attempts to flee. Um, because you probably don't want him to follow you at an unlimited distance. You probably want him to return to his original location after a certain distance. And this, the reason for this is to um, avoid players kiting enemies. The uh, second script is the enemy stat controller. The enemy stat controller controls the health. Um, and it also controls if the enemy should be uh, giving experience points to the player once killed, as well as how much he should get. There is also an enemy movement controller, and this sets how the enemy should be moving around. So at the moment, by default, it's set, set to idle, but we'll change it to free roaming instead. Here you can set the speed, the waiting time once he reaches his uh, thought of location until he moves again. You can set his free roaming radius so that he will only walk in a certain radius from his starting location. Um, you can also select to have him as in a patrol mode, which means that he will move from point to point to point in a set. Uh, Patrol mode that you have created, um, but we'll implement. We'll add another character like that so you can see. There's also actually a fourth script included, which is an enemy info bar. Um, it just shows the enemy health, health system, the health of the enemy. So um, this is the first enemy, and we can add a second one here. Now this one we want to be patrolling, and you can also select if you should backtrack or not during his patrol path. That means that instead of moving from A to B to C to A to B to C, you can set him to move to A to B to C to B to A to B to C to B to A, etc. So it doesn't move in a circle, but rather moves back and forth. Uh, so let's select that. Now um, we want to set some waypoints for the enemy. So let's set three waypoints. Uh, now I suggest to um, create an empty game object here and call it waypoints. And again, create an empty game object and call it waypoint001. Put it in here. And we can put it close to the enemy. Now we just uh, duplicate this. That and duplicate it again. Now we assign the 
waypoints. So, as you can see, we've now created two enemies. One that is free roaming and one that is uh, going by waypoints. So, let's start the, uh, the scene. Okay, so let's make this one non-aggressive because otherwise it will attack immediately. Um, so let's uncheck that. And as you can see, the enemy closest to me is now going in a specific control. Um, patrol path location. He will now return to where he just went. While the one up to the uh, top left is just roaming around randomly. Now, one of them is aggressive, which is this one, so we can run close to him. And he will, once he sees us, which is now, he will start attacking us. Um, you can of course set the the speed of the enemy, uh, change that if you would, uh, would like to. Um, as you can see up here, you can see the, um, the health going down, and now I died. So both of these um, enemies are using swords. But we could also change one to use range instead. So he will try to shoot me at various locations. Okay, um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this uh, short walkthrough. And um, if you're uh, if you have any questions or such, then uh, just check on the forum. Thanks.